apologizing. And well, well, we try our best to have good customer service. It's gotten better and better over the years. That must have been about seven years ago, I think. I've been listening to you for a while. And, uh, uh, one, one question I had for uh, uh, Max was about this, uh, was it Mount Cox, the exchange, where the, the stuff just vanished? And he says that Bitcoin is finite, but isn't it still like fiat currency? I mean, I went and opened up a wallet, and they said, do you not lose this number, or your Bitcoins disappear if you... If you forget your passcode or whatever, how can it just vanish into air? Is there because that's the security of it. If you don't have that, then then I mean that's your ownership of it. It's like don't lose this ring, uh, you know, like your your wedding ring. I mean, if you drop it into a chasm, you you've lost the ring, Max. That's exactly right. Uh, it, it's uh, it's it's currency, and if you lose it, if you lose it in the wallet. Uh, you, it's just like you lost your five dollar bill uh, in your pants pocket, and you know you threw it away in the laundry service or something. You lost it. And Mount Gox is a technology that is probably you no. Know, everyone knew that it was a problem, and nobody stored their Bitcoin at Mount Gox. Mount Gox is a, was a place to swap dollars for Bitcoin and other currencies. But the people have been saying for years now: once you make that swap, once you transfer from dollars to Bitcoin, then you put it into a wallet or a cold storage. Uh, a situation where it's completely safe. There are ways to completely have Bitcoin safely. It requires a little bit of research. It's not as, as easy as just going to the ATM and getting a $20 bill. And, you know, it's because, but this is an emerging technology. And I have my own story about InfoWars. I ordered a T-shirt from you guys a couple of years ago. And to my surprise, Prize. Uh, I didn't get the T-shirt, but I got a one-pound brick of sense a million per grade uh, Hawaiian uh, pot. Okay, a Max Kaiser jug, folks. We didn't ship him any Maui Wowie. <laughs> Thank you, caller. Let's go ahead and talk to Bill in Wisconsin. You've been smoking too much Maui Wowie, crazy man. Bill, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, Max, I'm a um, info warrior for quite a number of years. I was sick a lot of years ago, and I listened to Alex, and he said, if you want to change this thing, look in the mirror. So I ran for town chairman. I ran for county supervisor, been elected many, many times. I get all kinds of resolutions passed. We send it to these globalists and Obama, the puppet, and we're in their face. And I'm enjoying that. But what my idea of wealth is, Max, it's a lot different from yours and maybe, you know, some of the other high finance people. I have a wife I've been married to for 46 years. I have nine children. I have 38 grandkids. I have a farm and I raise my own beef. I have organic garden and I'm going to die someday here, but I'm going to face the Lord, and I'm going to tell him it's the best job I ever did. Oh, that's a beautiful story. That is true wealth. Friends and family and being honorable is worth more than all the gold in the hills. And, um, again, um, I've, I've actually seen some of the stuff you've done in your county. Uh, I think people sent me news clippings before about the work you've done. And so many people we've inspired by the grace of God to run for office have really held back the enemy. And that's why it's so important for people to do that, Bill. Thank you so much for that testimony. I mean, that is true wealth. Max Kaiser, we're going to do one more segment with you uh, and take some more calls until 30 after we'll let you go. But what is true wealth? Sum it up. What is uh, What floats Max Kaiser's das boot? Look, the, the caller, you know, makes a good point about values. And, you know, there's somebody once said that it's important uh, not to um, know the price of everything and the value of nothing, um, which is what a lot of people get confused about, price and value. But the problem is that when you live in, the, in like, say, the United States or some of these other countries, the government is, uh, is uh, putting you in debt without, you know, telling you how much debt they're putting you in so if your value is wife and family it, it does you still live in a country that's accumulating hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars and hundreds of trillions of dollars of debt so unfortunately that's a financial war so you need to protect 
protect yourself with some kind of financial weapons. And that's where cryptocurrency, I think, comes in. That's right. And we want to stay on our farms. Them. Stay there, Max. One more segment. MaxKaiser.com. Max is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. Infowars.com. We'd want to be on our farms, just like George Washington did. But we have to go kick red coat butt first to be able to do it. We have to be wealthy and successful to defend ourselves. The, the good, the just, have to be strong to displace the evil. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. One week left to get free shipping on every order over $150 from Emergency Essentials. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere. Like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863. Or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Big Brother, mainstream media, you want answers, but so do we. Talk to him every day. All right, let's go back to Max Kaiser. 
going to jam in some final phone calls, and i got a bunch of news in the next segment and more of your calls coming up. Max has got to leave here in about six minutes. Jeremy and Mass, you want to go back to the 9-11 insider trading breaking news that Max was talking about. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. I, I produced a film uh, called Black 9-11 uh, based on Mark Gaffney's book. It's been reposted under the title 9-11 Conspiracy Solved. It basically views 9-11 as a massive financial crime uh, rather than a terrorist attack and goes into a lot of different details on uh, whistleblowers like Richard Andrew Grove. Who no, no, I've seen it. It's, it's excellent. Doesn't it have millions of views total? It's, uh, yeah, it's about 850,000 on one repost that I saw. It's almost up to a million now. And, uh, yeah, talk about Richard Grove and the Silverstream. They basically had this Promise software, which was uh, installed. At back, they had back doors inside all these, uh, computer con all these computers for Fortune 500 companies and accounting systems. that They could have basically looted and stolen all the money during the attacks, and they found evidence of it on the hard drives, which were analyzed by that German company, Convar, which then was subsequently uh, almost immediately bought out by Kroll. Associates. No, that's right. Then you blow up the towers to cover up the, the, the swindle. And again, they didn't just do 9-11 for that. They like to, to, to get hundreds of things done under each event. And so they just nest those like Russian dolls as kind of a little goody-good snack. It's, yeah, it's a much larger umbrella of, uh, of, of things that, that happen simultaneously, especially with the secondary explosions in Building 6, which targeted the El Dorado Task Force offices that would have been redirected to investigate terrorist finance. And then they moved all the other investigations of the Clintons and everybody into Building 7 and blew that up. No, it's all on record. Oh, absolutely. Um, Another th another thing I, I I wanted to mention about all that was uh, was the um, the details about AIG and uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to come back to you after Max goes because you're a smart guy I want you to finish your points filmmaker there calling in uh, of Black 911 uh, Rachel Maddow will say we're being racist uh, but uh, we're trying to just stop the murderers um, but uh, Max your comments on the caller. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm aware of the work, and uh, Deutsche Bank, uh, which bought Alex Brown, is, was part of a film that I was advising a couple of years ago and uh, kind of adding a lot of the pieces to that puzzle. I think what we're saying here today is that we've got an insider, Jim Rickards, who is coming out with a book that hits the, hits the market in a week from today that uh, says the 9-11 report was wrong, that there was, in fact, insider trading leading up to the 9-11 events. And so this fundamentally changes the entire discussion, and I'm adding my piece to the puzzle, which is that, yes, in that context, I can tell you that I spoke to insiders at Cantor Fitzgerald and Alex Brown, and they were trading on this information, and some of them died. So uh, this is what we're leading into this week. All right. Let's talk to Nathan in California. You're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Alex. Max, uh, quick question for you, Max. Uh, last year you said that you were thinking that Japan was going to be the epicenter of this massive collapse. Are you still thinking that's going to be the case? And if so, I know that Deutsche Bank has like an ETF for that. Do you think that they're reliable? Okay, well, a couple of questions there. So Japan right now, I was just looking at this. Uh, they, their jet, debt to GDP is approaching 300%. It's clearly the most indebted of all the countries. They're the source of all the cheap money that fuels all the speculation around the world because their interest rates have been zero for the longest period of time. Uh, the economy still could be the, the trigger point that sets off a wave of collapse and, and currency problems. So I would say the answer is yes. As far as ETFs go, um, you know, I think I, I can't give individual investment advice because I, you know, that would, I don't know you per se, and that's not really, I'm not licensed to give advice per se. Um, so I'm not going to give you advice. But um, if the question is broadly, can you trust an ETF? Um, I, 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 I think that um, <laughs> uh, it, it depends what your risk tolerance is. There obviously is that there's some risk involved. So, it depends what your tolerance of risk is, since I don't, you know what I'm saying? All right, like, well, listen, caller, I risk. appreciate your call. Uh, let me shift gears the time we have left here, Max. Yeah. Specifically, you're, you're bearish on the West, because it's aging and all the rest of it, and very corrupt. The East is, is super corrupt and teetering on collapse. Look at China. I think it's the ultimate time bomb. Are, are you b are bullish on China? Well, I'm bullish on gold uh, as it moves East. And these countries are accumulating a huge uh, position in gold right now. And going forward, uh, the currency that seems to be in the crosshairs of this global shift east would be the U.S. dollar. So on a relative basis, 
the U.S. dollar it takes you know, most of the, the brunt of this reconfiguration. And so, relatively speaking, these other currencies are going to do better against it. Sure. But obviously, they got this debt bomb, uh, which is affecting all these countries. And that's why, at the end of the day, I, I've been saying on your show for years, and, and even with the current two-year move... No, that's right. The West both, created the derivatives. We're, we're in deep trouble. Max Kaiser, thank you so much. I look forward to you coming to Austin here in the near future. We'll come back with more of your calls and a bunch of breaking news. And I want to comment on the mudslide and the missing plane. We're on the march. The M.